All right, guys. Y'all know where we're at. Culvert job. So before I go over here and look, I got a notification from my camera, but it was not a clear notification, and I did not, like the picture was not clear. And with these cameras, it takes like over 12 hours for the video. You can request the video, and it takes like 12 hours for it to come in. So I have not seen what's back here. I just know that something didn't look normal. So I decided to ride over here. So we may have a catch. We may have a catch. I hope we do. It'd be about daggum time if we did. We're gonna see. And guys, that is a that's something you, you can't see because the sun's. That's something, Dagummit. Finally, good gracious. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a beaver. Okay, so uh, let me check my other stuff real quick. Um, MB750 right there in that corner, still good. We're gonna walk down here. Wow, three weeks. Uh, another 330 right there, still good. TS85 right there, still good. And we got one more, another 330. Still good. All right, so we have one catch, but guys, I don't even care that it's just one catch. I'm just happy that we have a catch. Three weeks coming over here. Good gracious. Finally, called, called a beaver. We're going to see where this joker was coming from because it looks like, it looks like his head is facing that way. And if that's the case, he would have had to come through all those 330s right there. Wow. All right, I gotta swap boots. I gotta get my waders on and uh, go fishing, making sure there ain't no daggum snakes in here. Because let me tell you, I've had a day of snakes. It was real chilly in Alabama this morning. It was, uh, I actually had frost in North Alabama. I'm in South Alabama, but it was still kind of chilly this morning, so I was not anticipating seeing any kind of snakes today you know first thing oh jeez i gotta put y'all down first thing this morning i uh i saw like four snakes and then after those four after those four i actually had a black racer run across my foot today freaked me out absolutely freaked me out all right all right we're gonna get our boots swapped over we're gonna grab our rake we got our setters and then we're gonna head back here and i'll bring y'all back when i when i start to head back all right y'all we're going in y'all remember in that other video had a water moccasin sitting right there the other day i don't see him now all right in we go and guys i ain't gonna be doing this fast i do not want to be tangling with a snake up in here And like I said before, I don't want to drop my phone. Making our way back. Uh, 
Don't look like you messed with my caster mound, Danny. I can't tell. That was my old caster mound. So I can't tell that he messed with that. Alright. Swapping. Phew. Swapping things up here, trying to ease back. We're looking for snakes, guys. This it goes down pretty deep right here. Can't tell exactly how big it is. It don't look massive, but we don't care. A beaver, any beaver is a damning beaver, and we don't want damning beavers. So we're gonna. So now that I'm back here, let's see if I can get the stand stood up. Oh yeah, that's a good sized beaver. So. That beaver was coming out from back there, like we said, coming from back there somewhere. All right, let me get it. Uh, I'm gonna get it uh, out of the 330, get it back over to the bank. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this too. I'm gonna get it out, get it reset, and then we'll bring, bring y'all back whenever I have the beaver on the bank. All right, finally got this thing uh, floated out. It wasn't bad once he was floating in the water. I just pulled him along. But there he is, good sized male. Got some good teeth on him. Pretty good body beaver. Pretty good, pretty good sized beaver. I'm happy guys, happy. It's been a long time coming, three weeks. On one job, that's a long time. Normally my jobs, or yeah, normally I wrap up my jobs in four days. Normally I'll give them uh, three resets, four checks. On that fourth check, I pull everything. But because this customer, I really like this customer. He was nice to me and everything. <clears throat> uh, we, we didn't have no misses the whole time that I was here. No, no, no misses, no catches, nothing. It was like they just didn't show up over here. Um, but I liked uh, working for this guy, and uh, he treated me right, treated him right, so I stayed a few extra days, and we finally made it happen. Finally. Whew. It's a good-sized beaver. But he's gonna, he, I know he's going to be happy about it. I'm happy about it. Maybe they can keep this water at this level. This is what it's supposed to be like right here. Just like this. Now I want y'all to think back to how it looked when the first day that I got here. I may go back and take a screenshot looking over these culverts right here. Both these culverts. I may go back and find a screenshot of what this road looked like and all this looked like. Just so y'all can see how much damage it did to this customer's road here. It was flooding over uh, further up that way by the gate. It was flooding up in here. Whew, that was a lot of hard work, guys. I dug that culvert out, both those culverts. I think I dug them out twice, and he's dug them out several times. Mm, I'm, glad, I'm glad that we got something. I got that 330 reset and put back just in case one of his uh, family members comes looking for him. It's set back there. You ain't gonna be able to see it because of the sun, but it's set back there in that channel. Y'all know where all the traps are at. I've already walked y'all through all the traps. I ain't gonna do it again. But we are on the board. On the board. And if y'all remember, I got two more way up the road here that um i'm gonna go check real quick uh not having a good feeling about them because that water level up there was rising pretty good 
So if I don't catch anything, I ain't gonna bring y'all back for that. I'm just gonna call the video right here. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna let these sets hunt a couple of more nights. And then I'm gonna pull almost everything. I'll probably leave two 330s down here. I'm gonna pull the other ones and take them back down to the other side of the property to see if we can catch the beavers down there. But that's it, guys. That's a good catch. I'm glad we finally got something. And we're gonna end on that. So, y'all be good.